Here are Grandpa's 50 ingenious handyman tips and hacks that work extremely well. WD-40 for sticky locks. One of Grandpa's go-to tricks for sticky locks is using WD-40. If a lock is tough to turn, just spray a small amount of WD-40 into the keyhole. Insert and remove the key a few times to spread the lubricant around. WD-40 works by displacing moisture and breaking down rust or grime that's causing friction, allowing the lock to turn smoothly again. Cornstarch for wood glue. Cornstarch can be mixed with water to make an effective homemade wood glue. Simply combine equal parts cornstarch and water in a saucepan, heat until thickened, and let it cool. Apply the mixture to the wood surfaces and clamp them together until it dries. The cornstarch mixture forms a strong bond, making it a great alternative for quick wood repairs when commercial glue isn't available. Rub a bar of soap for sticky wood drawers. If wooden drawers are sticking and tough to open, Grandpa would often rub a bar of soap along the edges where the drawer slides. The soap acts as a lubricant, reducing friction between the wood surfaces. After applying, open and close the drawer a few times to distribute the soap evenly. Tennis Ball to Open Tight Jar Lids Use a tennis ball to easily open tight jar lids. Cut a small slit in the ball and place the jar lid inside. The rubbery texture of the ball provides extra grip, allowing you to twist open stubborn lids with less effort. Butter to Lubricate Stuck Zippers Butter can be used to lubricate stuck zippers when you're out of options. Simply rub a small amount of butter along the zipper teeth, then slide the zipper up and down a few times to distribute the grease. The butter acts as a quick lubricant, making the zipper move smoothly again. Just be careful not to use too much to avoid stains. Use kitty litter to absorb garage oil spills. Did you know that kitty litter is an effective solution for cleaning oil spills in your garage? Cover the spill with a generous amount of litter and let it sit for several hours to absorb the oil. Sweep up the litter and dispose of it. For extra cleaning power, Scrub the area with a degreaser after removing the litter. Be sure to dispose of the oily litter according to local hazardous waste guidelines. Fix squeaky floors with baby powder. To silence squeaky floors, sprinkle baby powder into the gaps between the floorboards. Use a broom or brush to work the powder deep into the cracks to reduce friction and stop the noise. It's a simple, non-invasive fix but in high traffic areas, the powder may wear off over time. Reapply as needed for long-term squeak-free flooring without costly repairs. Rubber band on door latch to prevent locking. Use a rubber band to prevent accidental door lockouts. Stretch the band across the latch, looping it around both door handles so the latch stays retracted. This allows the door to close without locking making it useful during busy activities like moving or unloading groceries. Just remember to remove the band when you need the door to lock, as the band may wear down over time. Clean a paint roller with vinegar. To clean a paint roller, soak it in a mix of warm water and vinegar for 30 minutes. The vinegar softens the dried paint, making it easier to rinse off. Once softened, wash the roller thoroughly under running water and allow it to air dry. For best results, clean your roller immediately after use to avoid tough paint buildup that might not dissolve as easily later. Marshmallows to prevent hammer marks. Place a marshmallow over the head of your hammer to avoid leaving marks on delicate surfaces like wood or drywall. The soft texture absorbs the impact, preventing dents or scratches. Be careful not to let the marshmallow get too sticky in warm conditions and remove it immediately after use to avoid residue. Use a fork to hang pictures perfectly. Using a fork can make hanging pictures much easier. Place the fork handle over the nail or picture hook on the wall, tines facing down. Slide the picture wire down the fork's handle until it catches on the hook or nail. Once secure, remove the fork. Rub Vaseline on door hinges. If your door hinges are squeaky or stiff, rubbing Vaseline on them can help. Apply a small amount of Vaseline directly to the hinge pins, 
then swing the door back and forth to work the lubricant in. Unlike liquid oils, Vaseline doesn't drip or stain surrounding surfaces. Use lip balm to lubricate stuck screws. Lip balm is a handy solution for loosening stuck or rusted screws. Simply rub the lip balm onto the screw threads before driving it into place. The balm acts as a lubricant, making it easier to insert or remove the screw. This is especially useful for small screws or when you don't have proper lubricants on hand. Newspaper under rugs to prevent slipping. Slipping rugs can be dangerous, but did you know that you can prevent this by placing sheets of newspaper under the rug? Layer a few sheets flat between the rug and the floor. The newspaper adds traction and holds the rug in place. It's a budget-friendly solution for keeping rugs secure, but remember to change the paper occasionally as it wears down, especially in high traffic areas. Rub a dryer sheet on baseboards. Rubbing a dryer sheet on your baseboards not only cleans them, but also helps repel dust. Simply wipe the sheet along the baseboards, allowing its anti-static properties to create a protective layer that keeps dust and pet hair from clinging. Plus, it leaves a fresh scent behind. For best results, repeat this every few weeks to keep baseboards looking clean and dust-free with minimal effort. Use hair conditioner to soften paintbrushes. To restore a hardened paintbrush, rinse the bristles with warm water to remove any leftover paint. Apply a generous amount of hair conditioner to the bristles and work it in thoroughly. Let it sit for a few minutes, then rinse again with warm water. Use plastic wrap over paint cans. Before sealing a paint can, lay a sheet of plastic wrap directly over the opening. Press it down so it covers the paint surface, then place the lid on tightly. The plastic wrap prevents air from reaching the paint, keeping it from drying out. Sponge in a bag as a cold pack. To make a reusable cold pack, Grandpa would soak a sponge in water and seal it inside a resealable plastic bag. Place the bag in the freezer until the sponge is frozen solid. When needed, the sponge will stay cold longer than ice and won't drip as it thaws since the water remains contained. Use corn chips as fire starters. Corn chips, thanks to their high oil content, ignite easily and make great fire starters. Place a small pile of chips under your kindling and light them. The chips will catch fire quickly and burn steadily, helping larger wood to ignite. Butter knife as a screwdriver. In a pinch, a butter knife can function as a flathead screwdriver. Insert the knife's edge into the screw head and twist gently to loosen or tighten. While it won't replace a proper tool, it works well for light jobs. Grandpa advises to be cautious not to apply too much force to avoid bending the knife or damaging the screw. Use a clothespin to hold nails. Using a clothespin creates a barrier between your fingers and the nail, reducing the chance of injury. The pressure from the clothespin holds the nail securely while you start hammering. Clip the nail between the jaws of the clothespin, align it where needed, and hammer until the nail is partially in. Remove the clothespin and finish driving the nail. Toothpaste for nail holes. Toothpaste works because it dries hard and fills small gaps, much like spackle. The white paste blends with most walls, making it a quick, temporary fix. Apply a small amount of toothpaste directly into the nail hole, smooth it over with your finger or a spatula, and let it dry. It hardens to cover the hole seamlessly. For a longer lasting repair, consider following up with spackling later. Salt to clean up egg spills. Salt absorbs liquid through osmosis, which dries out the egg and makes it easier to clean. Sprinkle a generous layer of salt over the egg spill and wait 10 to 15 minutes for it to absorb the moisture. The salt solidifies the egg, making it easy to scoop up without spreading. Afterward, wipe the area clean. Shaving cream to defog bathroom mirrors. Shaving cream contains surfactants that leave a thin layer on mirrors, preventing condensation from forming. Apply a small amount of shaving cream to the mirror and spread it evenly with a cloth. Wipe off the excess until the mirror is clear but still protected. 
the protective film prevents fogging during hot showers. For continuous clarity, reapply the shaving cream every few weeks. Pencil eraser to clean battery corrosion. A pencil eraser works because its mild abrasiveness removes corrosion without damaging metal contacts. Corrosion interferes with electrical flow and the eraser scrubs it away gently. Rub the eraser over the corroded battery contacts until the buildup is gone. Wipe off any debris with a dry cloth and reinsert the batteries. Cooking spray on snow shovels to prevent sticking. Spraying cooking spray on your snow shovel prevents snow from sticking as you shovel. The non-stick surface allows the snow to slide off easily, making the task less labor-intensive. Simply spray a generous layer of cooking spray on the shovel blade before starting. Reapply as needed if you're shoveling large amounts of snow. Teflon tape on leaky hose connection. Teflon tape seals leaky hose connections by filling the tiny gaps between threads. Wrap the tape tightly around the threads of the hose or faucet fitting, overlapping it slightly. Then reconnect the hose and the tape will create a watertight seal. Use spaghetti to light hard to reach candles. Uncooked spaghetti sticks can be used to light hard to reach candles. Light the end of a piece of dry spaghetti and use it as an extended match to reach deep candle wicks. Once the wick is lit, blow out the spaghetti. Bread to pick up broken glass. Soft bread is perfect for picking up tiny shards of broken glass. After sweeping up the larger pieces, press a slice of bread gently over the area where the glass broke. The soft texture traps small fragments that are difficult to see or sweep up. Dispose of the bread carefully afterward. Toothpaste to defog headlights. Toothpaste contains mild abrasives that can polish and defog cloudy headlights. Apply a small amount of toothpaste to the headlight and scrub in circular motions with a soft cloth. Rinse with water and wipe dry. The toothpaste removes the oxidation layer, restoring the headlight's clarity. For best results, follow up with a sealant to protect against future fogging. Duct tape to remove splinters. A must-have item in Grandpa's toolkit, duct tape is a surprisingly effective tool for removing small splinters. Place a piece of duct tape over the splintered area, press it down gently, then pull it off in the direction the splinter entered. The adhesive grips the splinter, pulling it out without the need for tweezers. It works best for small, shallow splinters and offers a painless removal method when traditional tools aren't available. Use silica gel packets to keep tools from rusting. Silica gel packets, often found in packaging, can help keep your tools rust-free. Place a few packets in your toolbox or storage area to absorb moisture and reduce the risk of rust forming on metal tools. Since rust is caused by prolonged exposure to moisture, these packets are ideal for maintaining tools, especially in damp environments. Replace the packets periodically for continued protection. Cut an old hose to hold sharp tools. Repurposing an old garden hose is a clever way to safely store sharp tools. Cut a length of the hose and slice it open lengthwise. Then slide the blade of your tool into the opening. The thick rubber protects the sharp edge while also preventing accidents when reaching for the tool. Use bread for plumbing repairs. Bread can temporarily stop minor plumbing leaks, especially when it's soldering pipes. Take a small piece of soft bread, roll it into a ball, and push it into the leaky pipe to block water flow. This gives you time to repair the pipe without water interfering. Once the repair is done, the bread dissolves in the water and flushes out. Magnetize screwdrivers. Magnetizing your screwdrivers makes handling small screws much easier. Rub the metal shaft of your screwdriver against a strong magnet several times in one direction. This process aligns the molecules in the metal, temporarily turning the screwdriver into a magnet. With this hack, screws will cling to the tip, reducing the risk of dropping them in tight spaces. Remagnetize as needed when the effect fades. Use coke to remove rust from metal tools. Coke contains phosphoric acid, which is effective at removing rust from metal tools. 
Pour coke into a container and submerge the rusted parts of the tool. Let it soak for a few hours or overnight, depending on the severity of the rust. After soaking, scrub the tool with a brush to remove the loosened rust, then rinse and dry thoroughly. Mayonnaise to remove crayon from walls. Mayonnaise's oil content breaks down crayon marks on walls without damaging paint. Apply a generous amount of mayonnaise over the crayon markings and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. Afterward, gently wipe the area with a damp cloth to lift the crayon residue. For stubborn spots, reapply and repeat. Use steel wool to sharpen scissors. Steel wool is a simple and effective way to sharpen dull scissors. Take a piece of fine steel wool and repeatedly cut through it with the scissors. The act of cutting the steel wool polishes and sharpens the blades, improving their cutting edge. Afterward, wipe the blades with a dry cloth to remove any steel residue. Store nails in plastic jars. Plastic jars are a practical way to store nails and keep them organized. Clean and repurpose old plastic jars with lids, then label each one for different nail sizes. The clear plastic allows you to easily see what's inside and the lids keep nails secure. Save sanding dust for wood filler. Collect sanding dust from your woodworking projects to make a custom wood filler. Mix the dust with wood glue until it forms a thick paste. This mixture matches the exact color and texture of the wood you're working on, making it ideal for filling small holes and gaps. Apply the paste with a putty knife and let it dry before sanding for a smooth finish. Use a pencil as a fuse tester. A standard number two pencil can be used as a simple fuse tester in a pinch. Sharpen both ends of the pencil and press one end to each terminal of the fuse. If the pencil's lead heats up and smokes, the fuse is blown and needs replacement. This quick method helps identify faulty fuses, but remember to be cautious when working around electrical components. Mustard to deodorize skunk smell from tools. Mustard can help eliminate the pungent skunk smell from tools. Mix a cup of mustard powder with water to create a paste, then apply it to the affected tools. Let the paste sit for 15 to 20 minutes to neutralize the odor. Rinse thoroughly with water afterwards. Tennis balls to clean floors. Tennis balls are surprisingly effective at cleaning scuff marks from floors. Rub a clean tennis ball over the scuff marks, and the rubbery texture will lift the dirt without damaging the surface. This method works on various floor types like hardwood, tile, and linoleum, making it a quick solution for keeping floors looking clean and polished. Use baking soda to clean barbecue grills. Did you know that baking soda can be an all-natural and non-toxic way to clean barbecue grills? Make a paste by mixing baking soda with water, then apply it to the grill grates. Let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes to break down grease and grime. Scrub the grates with a brush or sponge, then rinse with water. Baking soda's abrasiveness effectively removes buildup without harsh chemicals. Aluminum foil to protect doorknobs. When painting doors, Grandpa would wrap aluminum foil around the doorknobs to protect them from paint splatters. Simply mold the foil tightly around the knob, ensuring all surfaces are covered. The foil acts as a barrier, keeping paint off the knob while being easy to remove afterward. Use panty liners as emergency wall protectors. Panty liners can serve as emergency wall protectors to prevent furniture from scuffing or damaging walls. Simply peel off the backing and stick the soft side of the panty liner to the back of chairs, bed frames, or other furniture that may hit the wall. The cushioning absorbs the impact, reducing scratches and dents. Bread to pick up broken glass. Soft bread is an effective way to pick up tiny shards of broken glass. After sweeping up larger pieces, press a slice of bread gently over the area to collect hard-to-see fragments. The soft texture traps the glass, making it safer to handle. Dispose of the bread carefully. Store paintbrushes in vinegar to keep soft. Vinegar is a great solution for keeping paintbrushes soft between uses. After cleaning your brush, submerge the bristles in a jar of vinegar. 
making sure not to soak the metal parts. This prevents the bristles from hardening and keeps them ready for the next project. Rinse thoroughly before we use vinegar is a natural, non-toxic way to maintain your brush's flexibility. Baking soda and vinegar to unclog drains. A combination of baking soda and vinegar can clear clogged drains naturally. Pour half a cup of baking soda down the drain, followed by half a cup of vinegar. Let the mixture fizz for 15 to 20 minutes, then flush it with hot water. The reaction breaks down grease and grime, restoring water flow without harsh chemicals. Repeat if necessary for stubborn clogs. Sponge in a bag as a cold pack. A sponge makes a simple and reusable cold pack. Soak the sponge in water. Place it in a resealable plastic bag and freeze it. The sponge holds the cold longer than ice and molds easily to the injured area. Once thawed, it won't drip because the water stays contained in the sponge. For more contents like this, click here to subscribe.